Hey, so this video is just going back to uh, relating to a video from the novice lumberjack that uh, I just watched, and um, he's going on about the sour covers for these Zeno clones. That's the Zeno clone. That's the only one I have here in the basement at the moment. Um, this is the one with the big board kit. Um, sat down here just checking compression and shit. But yeah, these recoils, well, they're shit on the Chinese sauce. Um, I take this one. I actually took the spring off this and put this in a McCulloch 1010 because the spring actually works in them. Oddly enough, yeah, this is a plastic one. These break. They fucking break like crazy. Um, this is the one from the Sup Mix. That's an easy start. And if you have an easy start one, um, there's an easy way to fix that. Haha, uh -huh, easy way to fix easy start. Flip it over. JB weld. You just JB weld these two, pull these together, and it's fine. I went out to the shed and just pulled this off, and it's been working fine for quite a while. Like that. Um, you could probably take the actual easy start spring out and do this, but whatever. It just works fine now. It's sort of doing shaky cam today. But more so than that, um, if you want a bulletproof, if you don't care if shit matches, you can always paint stuff too. Um, this. It looks kind of like that one, not really. This one right here is all metal, cast aluminum, cast aluminum pulley, and you can get these on AliExpress for like nineteen dollars Canadian. And uh, I've got one of these on uh, another saw right now, and they actually work perfectly. Um, they don't break. So I found um, like with the the plastic ones here. Eventually, the plastic nub that comes out here, that will actually break because it's actually really thin right in there. Um, I had that happen on the first clone I bought. I don't know what the starter covers. I might have just turfed it, but uh, these will fail. They're, they're garbage. Um, like this one on the sub makes this an easy start one, which I agree with uh, Mr. Pennington that these saws, you really don't need one. But that's kind of annoying because it just feels so funky. It's like bungee jump. Um, yeah, these all metal ones. If you have these saws and you need a new starter, spend the extra, you know, ten dollars and get the metal one. Because the, really, that's what it is you're spending an extra ten dollars Canadian and getting the metal one. That's much much better. Anyways, that's it for this video. Oh, I'll play with that guy again. I'm gonna port that uh, 872 here. I'm gonna leave the 972 the way it is. I got those XL 76s. Well, I got too many saws in the basement. All that crap too. I gotta still deal with that Model 17 here. My that's a shelf queen, unfortunately. I don't like shelf queens, but that one's really nice. Anyways, take it easy, YouTube. And yeah. AliExpress is the way to go, and it's safe. Alibaba, like Bodhi said, is kind of fucked up, but go to AliExpress. It's more user-friendly. Although, once you download the AliExpress app, every time you open it, half of it's going to be um, advertisements for male enhancement or sex toys. And that's just the way it is, because it's fucking weird. Anyways, take it easy. Bye.